Hi guys, it's Renisha here and you are watching our amazing channel and today I'm coming at you to talk about nine things to give up if you truly want to be happy. So the first thing that you want to give up if you truly want to be happy is complaining. Now complaining is something that is natural, it's normal to do when you're frustrated, when things aren't going your way. That's the your first instinct. Um, typically if you're not an enlightened individual complaining doesn't help at all whatsoever so if you really want to change and you want to be happy complaining is something that you need to step away from and you need to step outside of yourself complaining about something that people do or complaining about circumstances that happen is not going to help what is going to help is your mindset how you proceed and how you react to these things if you have a positive mindset and you think about being you know the good things the good outcomes not necessarily the bad outcomes being optimistic is definitely the better route to go instead of being pessimistic and always complaining being optimistic and thinking about the brighter side of things is always the way to go you are eliciting positive emotions opposed to eliciting negative emotions so when you think about the bad and you're complaining that's only bringing about negative emotions second thing that you really want to give up if you want to become a happier person is to give up limiting beliefs so there is nothing in this world that you cannot do go forward with that mentality the power of your mind is not a joke your beliefs stem from what you say if you have can't in your vocabulary I can't do this I can't do that that's something you need to change off the rip you can you can do whatever you want to do you are who whoever you say you are. Believe that you can if you believe it and you receive it, therefore it is. It is written. You just have to wait for your time and be consistent in your beliefs. The third thing that you want to stop doing is blaming other people. I mean, your problems ain't OPP, all right? It's not other people's problems. Blaming your, your, your problems on other people has helped no one ever. Taking accountability for yourself not only um, helps you look outside of the situation and see what you could have done better, but it also helps helps in realizing that people are human and people make mistakes. So you need to stop blaming others and taking accountability for yourself because then you realize that, hey, you have control. You have control over a situation because you have control over what you do. And um, by not blaming other people and taking accountability, going forward, you can change your actions and then you can have control over every single situation in your life. That's making you a happier individual. Number four is negative talk. Now this goes back into having limited beliefs. That your beliefs stem from the things that you say. So you want to stop that negative talk um, and you want to use words that affirm positive affirmations you don't want to use can't or I'm not you are because you are what you think you are what you speak so the power of your mind is not a joke and it all starts with your tongue your tongue is like a sport instead of saying that I'm such a slob I'm an amazing, I'm an amazing person. Your negative speech can be spoken into existence. So what you want to do is change that around and speaking, you know, positivity into existence. Existence. So instead of saying, I'm such a negative person, I'm such a negative Nancy, I get down on myself so much. No, I'm a positive person. I send positive vibes to people. People are in great spirits when they get around me. I uplift people. I am an amazing person and speaking that you're going to believe it and so it's going to be true you're going to speak that into existence so stop that negative talk and you will be a happier individual. Number five is dwelling on the past what's behind you. Why would you trip off something that's behind you? It's something that you can't fix you can't go back and you can't change anything and it's something that I am still trying to master myself. It's hard when especially people do things to you that you know you wouldn't necessarily forget certain things scar you we want to look back on the past as a learning experience we, want, we don't want to dwell on those negative emotions and those negative feelings we want to be always optimistic and not pessimistic you want to have discernment when looking back on the past especially when it deals with letting people back into your life you want to exercise discernment um, however dwelling on the past and those negative emotions 
they would never help you. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't hurt the person that probably hurt you or make you look different in the situation. Moving forward and becoming a better person, that's the only thing that helps. Number six is resistance to change. Certain times you like the way that things are. You don't want to change. You don't want things to be different. That's because you can't see who the person you can be on the other side. Change is a great thing. It's a good thing. And it can be very positive and uplifting if you allow it to be. But embrace it. Embrace the change. Of course, it's going to be hard at first, but when you come through on the other side and see how much of a beautiful butterfly that you are, once you've gone through that change, then you will be thankful that you took the initiative to go through it and not resist it. Do you think I'm pretty? Do you like my hair? Do you like my nose? Do you like my shirt? My lips? Do you like my uh, earrings? Do you think I'm pretty? Like, Stop it. Just stop it, okay? That is definitely something that you need to stop. Number seven, the need to impress others. Just kill that, stop it. When you live to impress other people, you're never gonna be satisfied because they're never gonna be impressed. If they are impressed, they're gonna want something new that is not gonna last. What is gonna last is if you impress yourself. Honey, if you're looking good for yourself and sexy for yourself, living to impress other people only brings about more grief and drama in your life and you need to just let that go in order to be a happier person. Numero ocho is the need to always be right, okay? Sometimes, you know, we want to always be right and always be correct and you know, we all can't be me. We all cannot be me. I am always right, <laughs> okay? I am rarely ever wrong. Like, I'm the know-it-all, like, what? not very likable is it come on no one is ever right all the time and if you have a need to be right all the time then you're not gonna ever be satisfied because you don't know it all no one knows it all the man who thinks that he knows it all is a fool if you believe that you are always right then you are greatly devaluing yourself of reality and someone is going to check your a s s everyone is a like long learner and if you realize that and move forward with that then you will be a happier person number nine is the need to impress others so when you live for other people wanting to impress them going to college because your parents want you to go to a college but you actually want to move to california and pursue your dreams you're not going to be happy when you are doing that when you're going to school you know you're going to be regretting it you might even start to resent your parents thinking about other people and wanting to impress them opposed to wanting to satisfy yourself and sometimes you have to think about yourself over what other people think because not all the time do they know what's best for you sometimes you know what's best for you because it's coming from within it's coming from your heart it's coming from where you know you love you know where you love things your passion no one can take that away from you. As long as you're following your heart and your passion, then you're doing the right thing. And I say go for it. Don't live for other people because that's not gonna make you happy in the end. It's gonna make you sad and it's not gonna make you like want to love the person that you did it for either. It's gonna make you resent them. And in order for you to be a happier person, it's okay for you to not wanna impress other people and to go for what you're going for, um, even if it's, um, the opposite of what everyone else thinks so just do what you want to do and that makes yourself happy all right guys so i hope you enjoyed this video because i enjoyed making it for you i want to see you guys happy all the time and i will be back with another installment of wisdom wednesday next week peace be great